Welcome to Gran Turismo 7 and the one thing I've done is I never reviewed this one. I, I mean I didn't review this car yet. These two cars literally I was you know, thinking them all on my mind. Actually this is the one of the classic Lamborghini you know, of all time. Well literally he on the V12 engine. Well I gotta say people are gonna think it. Are you sure about that? I don't know. People are gonna I'm thinking about it. So we are on the classic car section and unfortunately if you bu didn't buy uh, these cars, the Charger 180E and 400R, you need to be patient, okay? These cars will come back. These three cars will come back uh, later if you are gonna be patient, okay? I know people gotta think it is. So people gotta think it, are you sure you're gonna drive a McLaren F1 GTR? It's 50 million, I ca can't afford that. <laughs> 50 million for McLaren F1 GTR. Well, well, I put it on the Great Christmas Sport video, actually, to be honest. But this one is a, you know, on my mind, actually. This is 1974 Lamborghini Countach LP400. The one of the classic Lamborghini of all time. One of the classic, and actually the one thing is, I prefer for the older car as well. And, um, well, I, I am actually. <laughs> but <laughs> I want to drive it because in the previous game, the GT Sports already have in the dealer, but I didn't bought it. Yeah, I did. I forgot to review that, that car as well. This is a one of the classic as well. The one of the classic Countach, and also they had the feature the scissor door, or actually the scissor door, or you know, the Lamborghini doors. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, actually, yeah, I gotta say no. I know I gotta. I'm talking a lot, a lot actually. The engine is 3.9 liter V12 engine, 373 horsepower, and 360 newton meters of torque. That time 373, uh, which is a a lot, ho quite a ho horsepower. That time 70 uh, in 1970, the, uh, the the car, the regulation of the car that time was you know, less big di less displacement and also so less horsepower and big displacement, I believe. If if Mustang that time was 170 horsepower. At that time, but this was 373 horsepower. It's pretty much as as it. Did. The Countach had a huge impact on the motor the motor industry. As uh, the horse oh, so Lamborghini has followed ever since. <laughs> yeah, the development was headed up uh, by the British engineer Paolo St Stanzani. Paolo Stanzani. Paolo Stanzani. Sorry, sorry. Who together with the <laughs> together with the designer Mar Marcello Gandini produced this the scissor door master masterpiece. Wait, people gotta take it. Is it Lamborghini who started with the scissor door first? First, Lamborghini. I want to put that. But that's Lamborghini do that. I think the concept, the Alfa Romeo, or build it first and then with the scissor door. Although couldn't touch us. The Countach were produced over 25 years of the first generation LP400 remain the, the most popular. The most popular. Alright, just the difference about the way it's dry. In fact, it's only 150 he ever made. 150 he ever made at a, a Scar City value too. You can't say that the, these Countach LP400 are only going to be popular in the year to come. Um, I, I come, come, come in actually. And only the color is Arget, Argento Luna. The one thing, one thing is I, I want to do the, another Countach as well. Now, it cost me 1,250,000 for that. And you know what? I gotta drive the classic cars with you. You guys will want to see the mind driving the cla this classic car. But because why not? The Lamborghini, the old Lamborghini is also cool. And oh, this one is pretty much futuristic as well. Uh, Back in the 70s. Yeah, I would, I would say that, but I like it. We're on the used car dealership as well because one car, another car I gotta put on my list is this. The, the 88 Countach. The, what are the, another classic car. Well, actually, the, the, how, it just was 35 years old. Man, 35 years old car is pretty much cool actually. This is a 1988 Lamborghini Countach 25th anniversary. You you know this car is the one and before the Lamborghini before Lamborghini Countach finish off the production. This is the 25th anniversary version. The night in the 90s Diablo will uh, uh, take over the, uh, later. <laughs> the one of the 
the coolest car of all time. One of the coolest one in the eighties. It was the, the co coolest sports car of all time. It's a supercar actually. It has 5.2 liter V12, 450 horsepower, 492 newton meters of torque, and weighs about 1,490 kilograms. The one thing about this car, and coincidentally, is the same color I already he bought for the LP400 a few minutes ago. Yeah, a few minutes ago. It's caught. It caught my eyes. Before this car I run out of store, I need to buy. I am because if I didn't buy it, I gotta regret it. <laughs> the unique Countach car, a uh, common hit Lamborghinis, and commemorate Lamborghini his 25th anniversary in 1988. Hey, oh yeah, oh, I, oh wait a minute, oh oh oh, is it 1963 then? I I just realized that. The Diab the Diablo introduced two two years later, two years later. You no know what, which was 1990. That was me and to be the anniversary car, but it wasn't ready in that time. That time wasn't ready yet. And the cup, so the company asked the young, a young Horatio Pagani, Horatio Pagani, yeah, Horatio Pagani, you know the name, right? The guy who, who designed the Pagani Zonda and also Huayra and Utopia. <laughs> the, so the company asked the young Horatio Pagani who worked the Lambo at the time and instead reworked the interior. That time Horatio Pagani worked on work on the Lamborghini. The Lamborghini that time. That's a good that's a very good fact. A fun fact as well. And yes, we're talking about the same Horatio Pagani who found the on the Bugatti Automobile uh, SPA, I I, su I didn't know, I don't know what the SPA stands for, but it, because the name I really caught caught people's eye, about caught people's eye. Actually. Despite the slight change, it looks in looks the car is it is still a beast. Thanks to the mid-mounted 5 liter the V12 uh, that amounts 488 horsepower, so <laughs> about 450 about 450 horsepower for this. And you said the 440i horsepower. No, on that. <laughs> I said 450 horsepower. This thing. Yeah, and it cost me 648,000. 600. I mean, it's not 648,000. It's it's 684,200. I read to buy this thing before I get regrets. So I gotta buy it. <laughs> the reason why I wanted to buy the classic because it was one of the cool. The one in the 80s car. I ride the drive in an 80s car as well. Now before the race, they gotta stop. I gotta, I gotta put it in this car first. Before is that, is that, is it have a spoilers on it? Wait, is it? Did, wait, is it the production? And is it the production? And spoiler for the Countach. So side the front. Oh, no, it's, you just why did put the car? Ah, but lips on, the, on this classic. And this one here, I don't know. I didn't remember the, that much. Little Lamborghini is a real wing. Hey, actually, to be honest, I see that this is a normal one, see, and this is a, the new, the 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 big have the big wing option. I think it has a this is the option on, I believe. Yeah, may know in the comments if you are expert of Lamborghini, is it the option, and one or uh, you you know this is just coming, okay? And also seventy four. I gotta check it. Is it it has a real wing? Nah, it doesn't. That time that it doesn't have a real wing. In the opposite wing for that time. I think the eight, the eighties version. I think they came with the wing. Because of this car came in from Italy, we gotta drive it on the, in the, it, the Italian track. So we gotta do it, it this way. So we gotta drive the Italian track, yeah, which is Monza. <laughs> Wait, why Monza? Because this is a home, this is a home Grand Prix for 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 Formula One actually on the Monza track. So let's get on.
Although the Lamborghini Countach is pretty much has, pr cool, even the 35 years old oh, of the age of this car, the, the 25 version, the interior is pretty much changed as well, redesigned by Horatio Pagani. Yeah, like I said, the Horatio Pagani, the guy hi, who created the Pagani automobile, <laughs> like I said, the description on uh, before I bought it. So people are gonna think, it, who's trying the Lamborghini? He couldn't touch. Uh, oh yeah, I love the, how the detail is said OZ Racy in the wheels on it. This this wheel is designed by OZ Race, uh, built by OZ Racing as well, and the one of the coolest one as well, held at that time. And people got to think, who's owned the Countach in in the world? In, in celeb as a celebrity, Jay Leno, Jay Leno have one of these thing as well, and also Daddy Doug, Doug Demuro. You know Doug Demuro, he bought. Oh, a Lamborghini Countach in about a month ago, video, he's uploaded that video a, a month ago because he always bought uh, cool cars like Carrera GT and Ford GT as well and fun fact is he, he, he was the coolest one and the fun fact is this car is pretty much a classic, timeless classic as well one of the a timeless classic as well even the 5.2 liter V12 engine on, under the bonnet so the another one here is the 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 Countach LP400, the one of the timeless classic, another timeless classic. So, well, because this car came out in 1970, it was the the one that the, that time the oil crisis started in in 1970s, the early 70s. Okay, look at how design the seat is are. Uh, it was masculine. It was a masculine. Like the I like the Countach 25th anniversary. It was masculine as well. And fun fact about this car, it's and the the 70s on the Lamborghini, it was fantastic. Even the main engine, rear wheel drive, as well. And they they come with the la the signature Lamborghini scissor door. Yeah, scissor door. But you know what I'm saying, right? This is one of the type, the one of the coolest one, the one of the co coolest, the classic cars. Even today's standard with the 300 horsepower, 370. He, over 370 horsepower. That's a sports car territory. The horsepower. <laughs> yeah. That time, in super, her 300 horsepower car is a supercar. Uh, 74. I think the, the Countach is almost 50 years old. It, it was this car. This car is 49 years old. It's pretty much, uh, much younger than, than the, the 25th anniversary. Actually. The, the 20th. Let's see as well. Yeah, so if you want, so thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see for Grand Turismo 07, be sure to smash the like, subscribe if you are new, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also hold your lap. Link in the description box below. See you guys soon. Assalamualaikum and goodbye.